this super volcano's deadly explosion could cause global catastrophe as it did about a thousand years ago. And it has been erupting lately just about every 100 years. It last erupted around 1900. This deadly volcano sits between China and North Korea. It's a super volcano, Mount Pictou. It is set to erupt and cause a global catastrophe, the likes of which would not have been seen for a thousand years. This 9,000 foot giant supervolcano located on the border between North Korea and China is the highest peak of the Korean Peninsula. Mount Baekdu, or Baekdu is not far from North Korea test facilities. The active volcano is responsible for one of the deadliest eruptions in human history and experts believe that history is about to repeat itself very soon. Daily Express reports nearby testing from Kim Jong-un could trigger an eruption on this volcano as rumblings could upset the lava beneath the surface, scientists previously state. In other words, of course, the man-made quakes shaking the area could trigger uh, an eruption from the supervolcano. That's what they're afraid of. Now, new studies show that the eruption could eject far more sulfur into the atmosphere than previously thought, which could devastate life on Earth. Manpaitu once underwent one of the most devastating eruptions in history. This was in 946 AD, when it erupted so powerfully that it formed a five-kilometer caldera at the summit, producing enough ash that it even showered ash upon Japan which was 1,100 kilometers away. So this has been the fear around Mount Pektu that it has sparked a rare collaboration with North Korea and the West, largely secretive nation inviting scientists from the UK and the US to help study this supervolcano. Dr. James Hammond from the University of London, one of the selected few who were given access to the site says that the devastation that took place in 946 AD from that eruption was much more significant than previously thought and history could repeat itself again. Dr. Hammond's research said in contrast to earlier estimates, the, 400, uh, the 946 eruption did eject large volumes up to 45 megatons of sulfur into the atmosphere. He said this paper shows how important it is to study volcanoes no matter where they are. This volcano, responsible for one of the largest eruptions on record, was thought to have minimal sulfur release. We suggest it could have been one of the largest on record. Stephen Grand, a seismologist at the University of Texas at Austin, previously said, quote, I think the risk of a destructive eruption here is very real, end quote. The team believed that the 946 AD release was of sulfur, uh, released more sulfur into the atmosphere than the 1815 eruption of the Tambora volcano, which contributed to the year without a summer and saw temperatures plummet worldwide. So this supervolcano, Pektu, or Bektu Mountain, is an active volcano. It's 9,000 feet elevation. It's the highest mountain in the Changbei Bektu Degan ranges and it's assigned a mythical quality and it's called Dera Lake considering it to be the, their country's spiritual home. This mountain is called Shangbei Mountain in China and it's the highest mountain on the Korean Peninsula and in northeast China. The large crater lake called Heaven Lake is in fact the caldera which sits on top of the mountain. So this lake is in fact the caldera. The caldera was formed by a VAI-7 millennium or Tianchi eruption of 946 AD, which erupted about 24 to 29 cubic miles of tephra. It was one of the largest and most violent eruptions in the last 5,000 years, along with the Minoan eruption. And that was supposedly uh, at the time of the exodus of, of Moses the Hetep eruption of Lake Taupo around 180 AD and the 1257 AD eruption of Mount Samalas near Mount 
Rinjai, and the 1815 eruption of Tambora. Peg 2 is a stratovolcano. This cone is truncated by a large caldera about 5 kilometers wide, that's 3.1 miles of width, and 850 meters, that's almost 3,000 feet deep. It's far, partially filled by the waters of the lake in the caldera, which is called Heaven Lake. Heaven Lake. The lake has a circumference of about nine miles with an average depth of 700 feet and maximum depth of 1,260 feet. From mid-October to mid-June, the lake is typically covered with ice. In 2011, experts in North and South Korea met to discuss the potential for the significant eruption in the near future as the volcano explodes to life every 100 years ago or so, and this time, the last time was 1903. So it is overdue for an eruption. The geological forces forming Mount Peak to remain a mystery. Two leading theories are first, a hotspot formation, and second, an uncharted portion of the Pacific Plate sinking beneath Mount, Mount Pektu. This is what we see with the Pacific Plates also sinking underneath the Yellowstone caldera, Yellowstone supervolcano. They have found something deep underneath the Yellowstone supervolcano, and geologists believe that that huge structure lying deep beneath Yellowstone is part of the Pacific Plate. And this is the same thing here. It's the opposite side of the uh, Pacific Ocean on the side of, of course, Asia. And that is another hot spot with the Pacific Plate underneath this area. The central section of the mountain rises about three millimeters a year or 0 0.2 inches every single year due to the rising levels of magma. So it's bulging and it's below the central part of the mountain, of the supervolcano. 16 peaks above 8,200 feet line the caldera rim around Heaven Lake. The highest peak called Jiangjun Peak is covered with in snow about eight months of the year and the slope is relatively gentle until about 5,900 foot elevation. Water floors flows north of the lake and near the outlet there is a 230 foot waterfall. The mountain is the source of the Songhua and Yula rivers and Tumen, the Tumen rivers and the Yula from the northern border between North Korea, Russia and China. And the recent events, after these major eruptions, Mount Pictou had at least three smaller eruptions. They, they occurred just about every hundred years. That's why they say that we're now overdue. The first one recently was 1668, and then it was just about 40 years later in 1702. And then you had the latest eruption in 1903, likely forming the Bagomio Igminbright and fine pumice and tuft ring, tough rings. And as we said, in 2011, the government of North Korea invited volcanologist James Hammond of the Imperial College London and Clive Oppenheimer of the University of Cambridge in order to study the mountain for recent volcanic activity. And their project was continuing in 2014 and is still continuing, expected to last, and we're awaiting their latest findings on this. But from what they're saying, they expect an eruption. I'll leave links below for you for this on News Punch and uh, Wikipedia. If you'd like to join me on my 
Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media, and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.